M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So here we are with the RT91 or the Retivis RT91, and this will work on TYT radios as well. It's the 70 centimeter version. And what is it? Well, I look at it as a sort of almost like a base station amplifier. So it turns a normal, ordinary radio like this one here, and we'll be testing it into a actually up to 40 watt transceiver. So this is the well, just I literally just opened it. So this is the connection at the back that goes to the well, the unit, and all will be revealed. Now the nice thing about it is it you actually get a microphone with the unit. So let me just show you this cable, which is twin pin to twin pin. Let's take it out. Like so goes from the the radio to the, the sort of booster unit, let's call it, or amplifier. We'll be doing that. You do get a user manual. We will look at that just to make sure everything's safe. Quite a nice quality PTT, and I'm hoping that the audio reports I get are good, but that's a nice solid base station type PTT. So we'll be doing that as well. Let's take the main unit out. I do like units that are made of metal, and this is definitely made of metal. It's really good quality. Very pleased with the quality and how it feels. So at the front here, the microphone goes here. The control lead, we'll sort of put it together as we do it. So the control lead that goes also to the radio is going to go here, like so. The microphone goes here. Let's get it the right way around. I think that's clipped into place. You can see we've got power TX ALM. Now we do need to power it. Now it's the same power connector that we actually would use with a, a sort of a mobile radio. You know, like uh, let me think now what I've got that's the same. Kydera is the same, or the RT73. So it's powered in the same way. So let's just move that. Leave that there. What's this? We've got. Oh, we've actually got. A, it comes with a cigarette adapter, so that might come in handy. Because I think I. The power supply I'm using has got a cigarette adapter, so we'll, that's the way we'll do it. So that's the power cable. Move the boxes out of the way. Now it's come very, I'm very pleased with the condition of it and how it's come and, and how it's been delivered. You've got a mobile mounting bracket, which we will put on as well. And there's the, there's the bracket there. So we just move the, make sure we've got everything out of the box. So I think we have. Move the box out of the way and then Let's get this unit working. So, there's the unit, that's gonna be our radio. I'm gonna try this with different radios. I know this is a TYT, but we've got quite a few radios. So let me just get the mobile mount mounting bracket on there. We've got the two screws here for doing that. You do have a like a, a little SMA converter. I'll just show you here, which is actually needed when you use this cable. Let's take that out of the bag. It's all very well packaged, and it came actually in just a few days. So I'm in the UK, it must be a UK supply. So look, you've got this cable, which is going to connect on the back. So on the back, you've got your antenna goes here. I'm just working out where that cable is going to go, and we'll soon let you know when we get to that. But right now, let's get the mobile mounting bracket connected. I'll just pause while I do that. Right, we've got everything connected. So the microphone, Nice microphone, nice chunky microphone. Goes to the microphone connector. The twin pin firmly pushed into the radio, which is a TYT MD380 70 centimeter amplifier. You can buy a two meter one, okay. Then on the back, let's turn it around completely. You've got the SMA connector to the antenna on the radio. And there is a converter if you have the female or the male connection. Then you've got the antenna, to the, which is, I'm actually, I'll show you the antenna I'm using. Just for now, I've got my mobile antenna just out there, just outside, just for now. And I could raise it up higher and put it on something metal, that would probably help. Or we can put it on my car. Uh, and don't forget, it's a cigarette lighter adapter, So, but you do need to make sure you've got enough amps to run this unit. So antenna, then you've got the power cable going into the power supply which at the moment is turned off so let's just turn it on before I turn it on I'll just say that if you put in two watts you get 
20 watts out. If you put in 3 watts, you get 30 watts out. If you put in 4 watts, you get 35 watts out. And 6 watts, which this radio won't do, you'd get 40 out. So that's pretty good. Um, the other thing to worth noting is that if the orange light comes on, that is an alarm. It's telling you there's too many volts going into it. So, right, well, I literally haven't tested this. So we're doing this live. I'm just going to turn on the power supply turn on the radio now i have programmed a simplex 70 centimeter channel for now so i'll just get that onto the correct zone you can see i've got it on 433125 the power i've actually set it to high so it's probably about four watts so it's going to give us out some decent power so now to turn this on you hold down the green button right we've got no alarm sounding and let's just TX and see what we see. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. We're now TXing and you can see that the TYT goes red and so does the amplifier. M0 FXB. Now what I really like about this, it sort of make, turns everything into a base station. So let's just start off by testing it on, see if I can get my friend who's in Cheddar about 15 miles away to, uh, to reply to me. Okay, we're all set up. You change the channels and the zones in the normal way. You turn up the volume in the normal way, um, but you will hear the audio coming from the device. And it, so it is, you are effectively making a base station that is up to 40 watts. So I'm gonna call my friend. We're connected to GB3ZB. Thanks for the use of their repeater. And um, we're gonna have a little chat. So, Mike M6 LSJ, M0 FXB calling you. Remember, wait two seconds. Right. Go again, because I didn't actually hear you come through there. No, I don't think it's connected. All right, let me just try, let's try a different repeater. And just to let you know that this automatically switches from analog to DMR. We're going to try out GB7FI now. Uh, nice to nice to meet you. The name's Andreas, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. I'm actually testing out an amplifier that's connected to my TYT MD380. M0 FXB, back to yourself. Right, working great on GB7 FI. Yeah, GW1, CUQ, strong mobile. Yeah, all sounds good this way. And uh, uh, a very good, uh, good afternoon to you. The name uh, this way is Nigel. And uh, the QTH is carded. Uh, GW1 CUQ, straight by the GW1 CUQ, M0FXB returning. Yeah, good afternoon. So the uh, this uh, amplifier, it, it sort of turns the TYT into a base station. So you connect it with a couple of cables. The speaker and the microphone is on the base station it's a P, uh, fist mic with a cable and it has a built-in speaker and it's, it's quite a small unit i don't know it's the size of an old cb i'd say a small cb and then a couple of cables going across to the tyt md380 and i can use dmr or analog so yeah sounding fine uh, nice to meet you nigel m0 fxb so there you go nice test there thanks for watching and more tests to come seven three all the best Before we end, not sure what happened to Nigel. Just see if M6LSJ is there before I finish the video. And a bit of luck. M6LSJ, M0FXB, yeah, nice clear very good audio there just showing the radio on the screen i'm going to test it with a different radio so hang there i'm going to test it with my bofung uh nigel i'm not sure if you're still there but nigel did come back to me thanks very much but he it, it went quiet so back to you m6lsj uh, and um uh leave a pause for nigel right next video we'll be testing it with a bofung